Welcome everyone to another episode of Replay. We're glad to have you here. I'm Andrew Reiner. This is the Star Fox Spectacular. We're taking a look at every game in the series. Well, Not the order they release, but we will see a version of every game here today. So we're gonna play each game for about 12 minutes. Yeah. That's Kyle Hilliard. I'm here. We're skipping Star Fox 64 because we did a dedicated episode to that. Yes, but we're gonna take a look at that game on yeah. 3DS. We're gonna look at yes. the remake. Jeff Cork's here as well. Hi. He just reviewed the new Star Fox game. Which I did. Wah, wah, did not score very great. well. It is disappointing. No. Yeah. And then Brian Shea, big fan of the series as well. I love this series. I do too. I like this song so much. I do like this, this song. Is a good song. So this is the, yeah, man, 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 the OG, man. the FX chipped version. This is Star Fox on Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Which still like is the frame rate is awful. It's like two, but it's still <laughs> Mind blowing, like that. This is achievable on a Super Nintendo. It's crazy. Uh, back in the day when this came out, it was just like, what is happening Whoa. to the world of video games? Yeah. It's all being turned on its head. This is crazy. Well, remember, like Stunt Race FX. Also, that one was really cool because there's a part where you're driving in a tunnel that was made of glass that had a fish going under oh, it. That's right. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I love that game. How did people just not vomit constantly when this first came out? That's what people did. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this <laughs> epidemic. Yeah, they had to rebuy their Super Nintendos because they were covered in just, just geysers and stuff. Oh, yeah. Are there videos of people barfing in Oculus Rift yet? Oh, I don't Has know. anybody <laughs> looked that up yet? There's a lot of people like walking into stuff. I can barf on Oculus Rift if you like it. Is that good content? <laughs> I would content? love that. It would be <laughs> great content. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. Did you? I, so I certainly beat this because the game's not very long. I don't think I ever beat it on the hardest difficulty though. Like I tried and I got to the end, but then I got yeah. him over like right at Andros or whatever you want to. Was he Andros then? He was just he wasn't a he monkey. Was a, he was uh, Enos from the PlayStation mascot. Oh, right? that, that's but just right. the weird yeah. silver head. Oh, yeah, we're simply right. not ready. <laughs> we weren't ready. Doing some barrel rolls here. Yeah, Neo. Enos. Hmm. I'll go between those two. Uh, yeah, go between those two. Okay, Come on, Kyle. Take some chances. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this. Oh, oh, watch this. Oh, Be a crowd pleaser. Don't blow it. Uh, oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, look at that. I like how my You've ship been blended Star in. Fox. Still yeah, got I've been it. I've playing a lot of Star Fox. Oh, oh, no. No. oh, oh God. No. Oh, no. 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 oh, gosh. All right. Foxes. Ping ponging around. Great. Yeah, my mom lived in that cube. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she lived in that textureless gray cube. These guys are awesome, the loaders. I love them. They were in Star Wars Special Edition as well. <laughs> Just the same model and everything. Mm -hmm. Same frame rate. Lucas was a big, George Lucas is huge. Love huge. Star Fox. No, just Miyamoto fan. Oh. Like, stalked him. Oh my uh, god! Oh. Does George Lucas know who Miyamoto is, you think? Probably. Yeah. They probably hung out. Some weird Illuminati Get celebrity lost. thing. I always think they always hang out together and they're secretly ruling the world. I just saved Peppy. Peppy aged a lot faster than everybody else. He looks like the same age as everybody else here, but then all of a sudden he's like an old man in all the follow-up games. Was like the story the exact same in this game, like as 64 and Zero, where this it's like, oh, well, Peppy one, was on James McCloud's team. and I don't think so. There was less story than this than there was in any of them. There were just sort of personalities that were nearby. Gotcha. I wonder how all this starts. I wonder if <sighs> the new game could tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the new Star game Fox is... Zero. So here's the timeline, by the way. Star Fox came out in 93. 93. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Star Fox 2, the ill-fated canceled game, which we won't be taking a look at, yeah, uh, came out in 95, but a lot of those ideas made it into Zero. Mm -hmm. This boss I forgot this. basically in Zero. This is also in 64. Yeah, and even, uh, yeah. Well, I think Star Fox Assault. It just shows up all the time. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to just keep going back to this trough? Look at it. What a great, <laughs> memorable <laughs> ship. It was just beautifully designed. It doesn't taunt you as much as it does in later versions. To be fair, in Star Fox 64, you have to kind of unlock him. Oh, okay. oh, Star Fox 64, 1997. 97. Okay, so that Star was... Fox Adventures, which gets bashed on unfairly, in my opinion. That Absolutely. game gets better. Uh, 2002. Okay. And then Assault in <clears throat> 2005. Which was not developed by Nintendo. No, that's a bad game. Yeah, Assault's not great. And then uh, Star Fox Command, 2006. We're even going to take a look at that one. Yeah. And then uh, Star Fox 64 Ooh. 3D, which we're going to end the episode with in 2011. And Star Fox Golf. And Star Fox <laughs> Karts. Little Star, Star Fox. Star Fox Karts is just... Isn't this Star Fox Karts, technically? They you know what a kart is, Kyle? Yeah, I guess that's true. Wheels. <laughs> ridiculous. There are no wheels. Shield of teammates. 91%. Wow, that's very good. good. Yeah, for not playing that game in ages. That's, yeah, no. that's pretty great. Wow, what a genius. So what that's you're so seeing smart. here is three different paths you could go down. Mm -hmm. uh, the game is very short. I mean, if we just did 
a dedicated episode to just Star Fox on Super Nintendo, we would uh, we'd probably beat it. Yeah. yeah, I think we almost beat Star Fox. Yeah, 64. we came within like two levels of beating. This is so this Kyle's in first person. You could switch. Can yeah. reviews by hitting select, which is crazy. Like even that, that, like, that effect right there at was the nuts. time was just like, yeah, we're almost at Star Wars age. Like this is going to look as <laughs> good as George Lucas's movie soon. In retrospect, we were criminally <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah I, I was probably still view. eating Elmer's glue at this point <laughs> in my life. Yeah, yeah. Wait, in '93, you were like working yeah. here. Dude, was that was, part of the job? It was probably up to like '90. <laughs> no, like 2003 for me, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Where someone finally caught me and was like, "Don't do that." So you're Elmer's. I was more of a mucilage man. Oh, oh yes. No, I was Elmer's. I would even do like put it on my fingerprint, like make the fingerprints oh, yeah. with it. Be an old oh, guy, pull yeah. off your skin. Yep. <laughs> Be an old guy. Yeah. Oh. Pour it right in your palm. It works better on your palms than the back of your hand because there's, as it incidentally, hair. Yeah. Or but not as uh, much after a few times. Yeah, stay away from oh. glue, people. Don't play with it like we did. No, we're it's idiots. Bad for you. This also has the weird bonus level with the slot machine, which oh yeah is really great. I don't know if I ever actually like. I've seen it on YouTube and stuff, but I don't know if I ever actually played it. I I can't help you with that. Oh, okay. I wasn't there. Oh, I'm sorry <laughs> for you. I'm sorry we brought that up. I didn't realize. <laughs> I want you sore. to have played it because it's awesome. It was like a boss, right, or something. Yeah, and he had like a he was like a working slot oh. machine and like the little. Wheels would spin and different stuff would happen. This is so, when everyone started hating Slippy immediately. So uh, Miyamoto gets a lot of credit for this game, obviously, but he was just the producer on it. Yeah. The director was Katsuya Iguchi. Classic. I think, uh, but I think it was. I mean, who he knows took all about the credit? Yeah, who knows about Nintendo's like what their narrative truly is? But it, it seems like it was based on a lot of Miyamoto's ideas. Like he takes credit for the the sort of like the Thunderbirds arches. reference right. and yep. stuff, and, yep. and like flying the under rings and all that yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he might have just been in those meetings. Yeah. You know, oh, he was like involved in a lot of the development yeah. over there. Uh, in Europe, it was called Star Wing. That's right. Yeah, because it, it was trying to avoid confusion with mm -hmm. something else, right? And then Shay, I'm gonna have Shay say it. Oh boy. The Japanese version. Suta Fakusu. Suta Fakusu. Yeah. Fakusu. Of course. Fakusu. I'm going to be saying that all day. Uh, hey, it's me, Slippy. Those up, asteroids? Slippy? Obvious nod to Mario. <laughs> to me, Slippy. I mean, this it's is me. just Slippy. totally like Nintendo. Like, we like Star Wars a lot. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, this is Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, and it's fun. The music's great. Yeah. The music is great. I feel like the soundtrack kind of went down after the first. I feel like the other of the follow-up games, the soundtrack isn't as interesting. 64 right? had a good soundtrack yeah? still. Okay. I guess it didn't really stick out to me. Hitting those asteroids. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I remember the first time I got to this level, like, it didn't occur to me that, like, we would go out to space. Like, everything about this game was just, like... <laughs> Like, I don't know. It just everything impressed me about it. Like Just a wide-eyed Kyle Hilliard. Yeah, it really was. Oh, boy. All right, don't blow it, buddy. Oh, I remember this guy. You got it. You got to hit the dots. That's every Star Fox boss. Mm -hmm. Hit the dots. That's every boss. It's kind of like care. a Super Nintendo controller if you look at it super oh. abstractly. Super And just, and just <laughs> add a bunch of <laughs> stuff in your brain. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and then we're on Wikipedia here. I'm going to have Brian read this little tidbit about the development. Let's see if of I remember how to use bombs. The, uh, <clears throat> the FX chip in particular, which will so, bring up a discussion here. All right. I'm trying to see. Okay. Uh, the game company Nintendo worked closely with, with Argonaut during the early years of the NES and SNES. They made the game Croc. They developed a prototype on the NES, initially codenamed NES Glider. Oh, weird. Which so was, was inspired a... by their earlier 8-bit game ah! Star Glider and then ported to this prototype, ported this prototype to the SNES. Programmer Jez San told Nintendo that this was as good as it could get unless they were allowed to design custom hardware to make the SNES better at 3D. Nintendo assented to this, and San hired chip designers to make the Super FX chip and the first, the first 3D graphics accelerator in a consumer product. The Super FX was so much more powerful than the SNES's standard processor that they joked that the SNES was just a box to hold the chip. Oh, that's funny. So, so, like, the, the chip inside of there is almost stronger than the actual console? Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, so, the interesting thing, uh, we're hearing these rumors, uh, ongoing rumors about Sony moving on to PlayStation 4K or this Neo device, <clears throat> which is kind of what we're looking at here in Star Fox, where they were able to make the game better or make the hardware better 
by putting something in the cartridge itself. We don't have those means anymore. We no. can't put so, Super FX chips in a no, but I mean, shinier that's, disc. That would be the equivalent today. Like mm -hmm. if we were still using cartridges, that might be the solution to 4K, but now it's like you have to buy a whole new system, mm -hmm. it sounds like, right? You can so, do all kinds of cool stuff with cartridges too, because remember there was like that multi-tap, was it one of the Micro Machine games had a multi-tap cart in the top? Oh, that's yep. right. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic and Knuckles could stack games. Yeah. <laughs> Game Genie like could stack games. Like that form factor had some interesting things you could do with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I and mean, it just, like you just read, like this, the chip in this oh, thing almost being lasers. as powerful that's as right. the hardware itself. Yeah, if you would touch the cartridge right now, it will scald your hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You do have to wait 20 minutes before That's you remove it from say, the SNES. Right? There's like a little timer. Oh, look at this. Oh, I got a life. Look at this thing. What a treasure. Oh, what a man. Blob the, of... the presence. You know, it's like we talk <laughs> yeah. about that in VR now. It's just, <laughs> but not quite on the scale of Star Fox yet. No. Oh, not quite there. That felt like we were really in space flying up against a green blob. Mm -hmm. It did in 93, man. Yeah, at the time, it is hard to overstate how awesome this was. Yeah, it really it's, was. It's still a fun game, though, as Kyle's pointing out. Yeah, it's still it's fun. still playable. I mean, yeah, the frame rate is just a joke. Like, it is a hilarious stand-up I would love bit. to play a smoothed-out version, like, keep the textures and everything identical, but get rid of the jaggies and speed, like, 60 frames per second. I think oh, it would be interesting cool. to Do you think that's why we've never gotten this on uh, Virtual Console? I don't know. We've gotten yeah, 64 maybe. on Virtual Console. Guys, this was another just... It blew my mind. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm inside a spaceship in what a, space. What a long ship, too. <laughs> hey, this doesn't is, make any sense. I mean, we've never cool. seen anything like this. Like, what would we call this? Like a trench run? What do you, what do you think? No, what, this is... They're, well, they're it's more like a tube like run. A tube run. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that famous tube run scene. Oh, those are... Uh, Why are you phone suddenly boots? wireframe? Because I'm invincible, I think? Or is it to show you... Pow, pow, poo, poo. What's going on? That is like... What, what just happened? Oh, I have shield is what's going on. We just blew up the Death Star, man. That's what happened. Uh, he and put the amiibo that, on no. it. <laughs> this is a pretty good look, I think, at what is that. That's another ship. Yeah, it's carved out of a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> just whittled. So I never owned this game, but I remember renting it back when it first came out and just, like you guys said, having my mind completely yeah. obliterated. We should blow your it mind never, again. It with, never recovered. With a sequel. Yeah, let's take a look at uh, the next game here. All right. All right, we're now taking a look at Star Fox Adventures by Rareware. Again, we did a replay of this, but um, this one is uh, Kyle's save. So we're going to take a look at some different content that you haven't seen yeah. before. I've been playing this a little bit just to kind of make some distance in the game. And I believe we got, it was either Dan Reichert or Ben Hansen or Tim Turry got super stuck. In oh, really? At the beginning, we couldn't find a ladder. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> oh, Pepper. Looks like my dog, Bowie. <laughs> See, he looks great. He's like a puppet, which is the whole thing. Yeah. So is my puppy. I don't here. think my puppy's real. Oh, look how dirty that is. What gold ring? It's a New Hope style. I do like it. Like the the cutscene that we skipped is like foxes in the uh, Great Fox, and like he's got like pizza boxes everywhere, and he's like listening to rock music. And rock Peppy's music. Like, yeah, and Peppy's cool. like, hey, can you turn that down? I remember this scene. This is how it kicks off, and I was so excited because this is all I wanted from a Star Fox yeah. game. No, was this says it. R wing and <laughs> shooting just, things, and it felt good. And you just play. Well, this for a isn't the seconds. beginning of the game, right? This you is, play oh. through an entry. Like, there's a training sequence with uh, Crystal. The I guess she's a is she a fox. She's like a blue fox. Or yeah, something. blue fox. Oh, I didn't get that one. So there is some training. So this is like, I don't know, about an hour into the game or something okay. like that. Let's yeah. So that. there are periodically these flight sequences, which are really fun, very simplistic, short, and short. But mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it just shows how cool. It's almost as if this, this would have been on GameCube, right? It's almost as if this didn't start as a Star Fox game, and then this was added mm -hmm. after the fact. It's kind of reminiscent of the like platforming, the really intense platforming sections in Mario Sunshine, where it's like people kind of gravitate to those, or like, ah, oh, this is all I want, mm -hmm. and then it's like, oh, here's this other stuff too. Here's the rest of the game. Here's the meat. Here's the majority. Here's ninety percent of the <laughs> yep. game. But I really enjoyed the adventure itself. Yeah, of I roaming around outside of the R wing. The dinosaurs. Obviously, this game was originally coming out on. Was it? Uh, N64? It was an N64 it was game. Dinosaur Island. Something I think it was like Dinosaur that? Planet. Dinosaur Planet. It was Planet an entire sorry. planet. <laughs> not, not just an island. And then they Ooh. Rare came up with a really cool way to do fur, and Nintendo mm -hmm. was like, "Well, let's make it a Star Fox game so you can have a furry <laughs> protagonist." Yeah. And I also like if we could get that rock guy from Neverending Story, <laughs> that'd be super great. These big strong hands. 
There's so much that doesn't quite mesh with Star Fox in this game, and yeah, that's a really good example, that rock creature Yeah, over where there. the horse just dies in the lake right there. <laughs> and Fox is just yelling at him. <laughs> and the horse is talking, which yeah. makes it worse. <laughs> Fox, Whoa. no! Nay! Nay! Very funny, sir. I know! Now, on to me! I'm hilarious! <laughs> Pressing the moon will open what? <laughs> Peppy's missing a few polygons, I think. Whose head do you want on your wall? <laughs> yeah, Peppy aged really quick. Yeah, like he was the same age as everyone else in the original Star Fox, <laughs> and now he's an old man. Fox has had it. All right, I, yeah, I got it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Because <laughs> he speaks dinosaur. Yeah, he does. That's right. Well, he's a frog, I guess it makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that logic will work. Amphibian, so well. reptile, whatever. Dinosaur, right? Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's all the same. Hey, remember ultimately. we were talking about that rock guy? Yeah, we're going to go. We should, hopefully, we can get to him. Mm -hmm. I got to do a couple things first. Oh, man. Pepper is killing. It is, it is very easy to get lost in this game, so I'm glad that I actually played through like the first hour or two to know what I'm doing. It still looks really nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Colorful, furry. I um I replayed Cameo recently on the rare re rare replay. Mm -hmm. and I think this game looks better than Cameo. Actually. Whoa, yeah. that's uh well that was a game that was was that an N sixty four game as well that was gonna uh, come to GameCube and then <laughs> I think it was ended an Xbox, up on Xbox three. It was an Xbox One game that got ended up not Xbox One, but it was originally yeah, yeah, the original the original Xbox. Xbox. I think Nintendo was originally Xbox. making it though or publishing it. Right? I think you're right for rare. Yeah. I think they were still part Whoa. of Nintendo at that point. Fox got really good at having a staff. Well, he spends a lot of time in a spaceship, so obviously he would be good yeah. with a staff. Just like, obviously, frogs speak dinosaur. What happened to his robot legs? <laughs> he got his regular legs reattached, I guess. Oh, okay. Do some rolling. Let's fight some dudes. His voice work sounds great. Ugh. Look at these guys. <laughs> these guys. This game's amazing. <laughs> I would probably buy this game if they released it on, like, Wii U, so I could play it. This is very much like a everyone wait till we're done here kind of yeah. fighting system. <laughs> nobody well, nobody engage. Also very influenced <laughs> by Zelda. Yes, this is, there's a lot it of Zelda It even does the letterboxing, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, every time you pick up a new item, you get a very Zelda-esque animation, for sure. Like, here we go, like this. Oh, man, he's oh, he amped. Doing? Hey, you got a staff energy gem. A seg. <laughs> the screen actor's guild? <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, and then... <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, there's still a fight going on. Give him a little room, boys. He's really into let, this. Let him have his moment. Uh, really using my Dark Soul, my dark soul skills here. Oh, you killed my twin brother. And he controls exactly like he does in Smash Brothers, right? <laughs> That's right. You can do final. Set. I'm doing the final smashes right now. Ah, get out of here. And there's temples. Yes. Very dungeon-y. Puzzles. If my staff what feel... language is she speaking? Dinosaur, man. Uh, Avatarian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's blue, so they all speak the same. Oh, okay. James Cameron just stole that. Oh, James Cameron was involved with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think James Cameron knows who Shigeru Miyamoto is? He probably does. Yeah, probably. I think Steven Spielberg knows who Shigeru is. Spielberg definitely knows who he is. <laughs> Spielberg gets lunch with him once a week, probably. Oh, yeah, you can talk to these guys. Yeah, let's hear I guess it. I shouldn't just beeline. Oh, there's actually, there's like a day-night cycle, which I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool, you know, like that it can turn to nighttime. But then mm -hmm. the thing that's frustrating is all the animals go to sleep, and sometimes <laughs> sometimes you need to talk to them in order to move the story forward. So, like, there was one situation where I had to talk to this mammoth, and it was nighttime, and I just had to sit there and wait until daytime <laughs> came back. What's that? Oh. Hey, does this remind you of Zelda at oh all? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> this is just Ocarina of Time. Yeah, pretty much. And people bashed on this game like you wouldn't believe, and like I said... It's not that bad. It's it's, it's good fun. I really, like, I really enjoyed it. It would be like if they said, hey, we got a new Zelda game coming out, but it's a 2D platformer. Or if they said, hey, we got a new Metroid game coming out, and it's a multiplayer shooter <laughs> for 3DS. That's right. If only they knew what fans wanted. 
But if those games were good like this, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have a problem with it, would we? There you go. Would we? Calm probably down, Reiner. It's I okay. like good games. Well, I'm going to take that's the a unpopular opinion. Statement. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, you missed. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Do I have enough energy? Okay. What is that? Those are, I can hit that plant to get staff energy. Well, hit it. You hit it and you get its nuts. There's a cutscene. Mm -hmm. Nope. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's only for new stuff. All right, oh, here we go. And Kyle's Gotta get the arrow. Shoot that with fire. That a boy. When you get the hook shot. Was that the doom sound effect we just heard? Shot. That sounded like it. <laughs> your staff uh, takes care of it. You can actually like use your staff as like a rocket pack and like jump in the air with it and stuff. Wow. I never made it super far into this game. No, I haven't either. This is all stuff I've just learned from playing the first like couple hours to prepare for replay. I want you to play all the way through it and then tell me what you think. Maybe this will But be I only want a five word response and then leave my office. It is a good game. That there you go. That yeah. works. Good, good job. Go. Hey. Maybe this will be my super replay showdown pick. Whoa. I, I would play this with you. I don't know how long it is. It's pretty long. 73 hours. 73 hours. <laughs> now, but we no usually, one. for people watching, we usually try to keep those super replay picks to around, there? for the showdown, around 10 hours or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Or less. My name is Fox McCloud, and you must be the Queen Earthwalker. No, no, rude, no, cat, no. <laughs> Dino. Dino. <laughs> What do you think that actually Whoa. sounds like? So anyone want to give it a go? I don't think they talk. Triceratops, anybody? Sound effects? Ah. I mean, they clearly designed a language. They did this way before Far Cry Primal did it. They consulted the linguist from the University of Kentucky. That's right. Oh, wait, here we go. He can tricky. It. Prince mm. Tricky. Oh, he likes that. <laughs> <laughs> His character model's great. Yeah, he looks good. And the animation's really good, too. Oh, they actually made the sound. How far uh, removed was this from Jurassic Park? This is like about six years. <laughs> it's just dirt, man. You're going to plant something there. It's not, <laughs> that wasn't poop. I wasn't even laughing at that. I was laughing at the janky way it walked. Oh. <laughs> There's some personality there that I like. He's getting annoyed that Slippy's calling him on the phone. He's like, quit texting me, Slippy. I got work to do. Why are Triceratops all these ones that are sick? <laughs> yeah. They're the hardest to animate, so they just kind of <laughs> hunker them down. <laughs> Slippy is that obnoxious friend. Fox gets annoyed by everyone calling him. So look at his tail. That's that's some nice animation there. Look at that. Yeah, Slippy's like the guy who's your best man in your wedding, but you never want to hang out with, right? <laughs> You're obligated to invite yeah. him. Yeah, it's like the Whoa. childhood friend. Oh, speaking of uh, like Wind Waker. Speaking of friends that you have to make your best man at your wedding, uh, I want to call out my brother for mailing us a copy of Star Fox on Super Nintendo. Thank you, Tristan. I appreciate it. Because our vault copy isn't working. I should have done that in the last segment. I'm doing it this time. Y'all can give me all the stares you want. Is that a y'all? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that crept out of there. <laughs> uh, we can fix that in post, right? Here, I'll get, all right, let me give way to clean. You guys. There you go. All right, can you go and insert that back for me? Y'all. Please don't. Yeah, be, be a deer. And be a deer. All right, here we go. Bless your heart, Wade. C. We're going to use the C stick. That's right. I actually like the, the way you access C. your inventory. Yeah. Although, it would have been nice to use the C stick to control the camera, but, you know, that's good, too. Yeah, get your hands in that dirt, Kyle. Mm. Man, cracking a wall that you got to blow up with a bomb. Guess what? This what? thing's gonna explode, and that crack, yeah, is gonna be a hole. All right, so we got to. We're coming up on uh, time here, but we do have to at least talk to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never Ending Story guy, because he is like, he is a hundred percent. Well, you know, what? I won't even ruin it. Okay, we'll just uh, just think of. Get to give the qualifier like. This was made in a different time, okay? Like, <laughs> yeah. perceptions of other well, actually, cultures were different. <laughs> I'm trying to think of when it came out in comparison to the film Shrek. Let's see. Okay. Nobody ever brings me gifts anymore. <laughs> oh my god. It's totally Shrek. <laughs> Nobody ever brings me gifts anymore. <laughs> oh. Did they get Mike Myers to They voice got them? Mike Myers, man. <laughs> All right. What, well, hap so, what happened to that guy, real quick? Mike Myers? Yeah, he made the a, love he guru. He directed oh the love guru. God, he it directed a career. he directed a documentary about Alice Cooper's manager recently. Good that's for a, him. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Star Fox Assault on GameCube. Yep. 
Um, we gave this game a seven back in the day, and the game is not all like this. Again, we're showing off our wing stuff, but it is a what would you say, Kyle? A multiplayer uh, focus? Well, there's kind of a lot of multiplayer. The like territory on, taking the on foot stuff really wants to be like a third person shooter, but it just like doesn't work. I do the flight stuff's pretty fun though. Like I like this opening level. Uh, which was, I remember when it came out, I was really excited. I played through this opening level, and I was like, oh, this is awesome. I love this. And and then, like, the second level, you're on foot, and it immediately kind of... Yep. Yeah, they're just <laughs> teasing your furry tail, and then, nope, here's something completely different. They pull on it. Yep. And they yank on it, and they cut it off. It's like a taily po that children's story. <laughs> Again, this was the example oh. of, this is exactly what I want in a Star Fox sequel. In, and in the they, first level. <laughs> yeah. Fold your arms, harump. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It's super dumb, but oh, I mean, it's not super dumb, but I like that, like, you kind of, it's, it, you think that you're going to be on kind of a straight path, like Star Fox, you just head towards the planet, but I like that you kind of go, you know, in uh, different angles and stuff like that. I'll just I don't say, think that's dumb, this, this one isn't thing. developed by Nintendo. No. Uh, hats off to the ship designers, though. The, yeah. uh, the R-Wing looks great, and just all these different uh, vessels out here. Uh, very cool. Yeah, I think you're fighting Andros's nephew. Yes, yeah, this, this is uh, Oik Oikany? Oikany. Andrew. Andrew Oikany. Oh, that's right. Andros Andros's nephew and uh, assumed heir to the Andros throne. Oh, okay. mm. I read the character bios yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's developed by, just so we don't keep you hanging there, it's Namco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Before they became Bandai Namco, Namco Bandai, Bamco, yeah. whatever they're called. Bamco. Let's try this bomb out. Oh, this one's weird. You can't set the bombs. You know how you can press the bomb once and press right. it again? You, yeah. It doesn't work like that in this game, which I thought was a weird sort of change. Huh. What do you think of his voice? They really never nailed Slippy to that. Oh. Seems like they, he's kind of all over the place. So like, what should he sound like? I, I always think of him as Star Fox 64. Well, what celebrity voice pitch? actor should he be? Um, Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. <laughs> Ape Soldier. This is kind of getting closer to the puppet sort of look maybe for those talking heads mm -hmm. still a little sort of static i don't know you're getting a lot of hits kyle oh that I'm uh so hits that I'm oikini like voice sounded familiar well he was in was he in 64 i think it was not that band. not uh, maybe i don't know he was in 64 i know that it's liam neeson i think oh <laughs> okay that explains it then i don't know who you are he goes under an alias when he does it when he does a pen name yeah voice work but yeah, he's done thousands and thousands of cartoons. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love in Star Fox. I like when the uh, it doesn't happen at every level, but I like when the the uh, the bad guys clearly get like uncomfortable and they're like, "Oh God, they're breaking through." Yeah, they're almost here. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. that was, I would they love say for that? them to say that. <laughs> oh, all the time. Just like the Transformers movie, just throwing the <laughs> just S bomb what? and the kids <laughs> in the theater all like. <laughs> God, that was a good move on those critters. Oh, gotta fix that G diffuser. Oh, here we go down to the planet. And Let's now things walk. are going to change. Yeah. What? No, we're, we're still on the ship for this. So this is still good stuff. we got to get to the foot section. Look yeah. at that. Breaking atmosphere. Like he seems to have fled, but he may be oh, man. Peppy. <laughs> Stacy Keach as Peppy. <laughs> <laughs> man, that looks cool. Oh, man. Even calling him Gramps. Let's take it well, low. rabbits age a lot faster than foxes and eagles, I guess. Is he an eagle? What Fal is he? Falcon. Garrett? He's a bluebird, isn't he? His name he's is blue. Falco. Yeah, but he's not. He's like blue, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's one of those real birds. Oh. Oh, he's a... Okay. He's a real bird, yeah. Yeah, blue bird. Blue, blue real bird. Look at Maybe this. he's not naturally blue. He's making a lot of assumptions. Oh, that's true. He could have yeah. dyed his hair. Whoa! This is great! I don't even know... I never finished this one, so I don't even know if you get back in the R-Wing in this sense. I think like, you do at certain points. There's, there's a lot... Like, the, some of the on-foot levels you can... Uh, which is cool in concept is like you're on a space station and you have to get out and do fighting inside the space station and then you can jump in your R-Wing to do some damage outside and then you can get back inside the space station which is like all cool in concept but I think just the, the shooting the on foot shooting is just so yeah it wasn't loose. great I don't know you know it would be cool I'm What's looking that? at these tanks and it reminds me of G.I. Joe a little bit mm -hmm. a G.I. Joe game like this would be awesome <laughs> Did they get in ships in G.I. Joe? I never yeah, watched yeah, they G. had, they had uh, the, the good guys. G.I. Joe had mm -hmm. uh, a lot of... What are the good guys? What, F-22s or whatever? Oh, like... Standard aircraft? Gotcha. I remember the last G.I. Joe game was around the time as uh, 
That Ghostbusters game was like a downloadable oh, one, isn't it? That's it was right. It was like an overhead Ikari Warriors style game. Yeah. Oh, is that like a, when the, those films came out? Yeah. Yeah. It was associated with It was about that. that time. Riding it's too on bad. That hype I remember train. there was an arcade game I loved for G.I. Joe that was mm -hmm. like kind of running behind the guys. Yeah. Kind of standard shooter, kind of Contra ish. Those kind of 3D sequences in Contra. So so, Kyle, what's the story here? Why is Crystal so involved with Star Fox right well, now? Well, so after Star Fox Adventure, like, she joined the team. Oh, okay. And uh, and they actually, I think her and Fox are uh, a couple. An item? Yeah, because they break up uh, in the next game that we're going to Are they going at. steady? Yeah. And they accidentally blew up Dinosaur Island, right? Or planet? Oh, I don't know. I never beat the is game. that why she's now here? <laughs> she has nowhere else to go. <laughs> Outcast. Fox destroyed her home, so naturally she's in a relationship with him. <laughs> Man, I, I've played a little of Star Fox Zero. I think four levels of it now. And just seeing this here reminds me of that game a little bit with those... I want to say it's the first boss fight in the game where those doors are opening and those those crab walkers Corneria. are coming out. Yeah. yeah. But this, as slow as it seems, seems kind of fast compared to that sequence. Yeah. Like those arena kind of battles are, are pretty slow and boring. Oh, man. It I just wanted that like game to be classic Star Fox, but yeah. the There's the motion like any... controls are what kill it for me. Yeah, Jeff, you want to elaborate a little bit on on the motion controls? Just, or the, just the quality of Star Fox Zero, or your takeaway from it? Oh boy. Well, the review is online now. Yes. So yep. there's certainly that, and yeah, it's. I mean, I think we all agree it's it's kind of a disappointing experience. It's absolutely a disappointing yeah. experience. Yeah. I had fun with it. Like, I played it all the way through, I enjoyed it, but it, like, the motion controls were frustrating. I wish you could just turn them off altogether and kind of have, like, what we're seeing in this game right here. Mm -hmm. and, like, you just control where you're aiming with the analog stick. And then some of the second screen stuff is, is a little confusing at times as well. Yeah, when I played it at last E3, I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. There's a decent concept here. It needs to be tightened up. And then when they delayed the game, I was like, okay, they're really making yeah. sure they're doing it right. Like, they're going to make this yeah. a really cool Star Fox game. Like, I definitely had some moments in Star Fox Zero that I, like, really liked it a lot. Like, a lot of the dogfight stuff, like, when it gets a good rhythm of, like, switching between screens, I, it worked for me. But, like, overall, like, I, I definitely agree with Cork's score. I don't think he's off at all. I like the way they... And that's a 6-5? Six, 6-7-5. Six, six, seven, seven, five. Yeah. Seven, five. Okay. Yeah. I like the way Falco just said, what's this, an Andross wannabe? Like, kind of like... <laughs> I love it. This. I want to point out how just, like, ridiculous this ship is. Like, it has two separate <laughs> ships that, yeah. like, function. <laughs> and, and, like... And what is, like... The, all these motions would be, like, would make you super sick, the way that, like... Like, the head is moving around and stuff. It's, like, jumping around just so, so it... Pointing to its eyeball. Let's think of how oh. he's controlling this inside of this. Is he? Is it's it like VR. he's in VR with half it's VR? It's got gloves, be, right? Yeah. It's like big O. No, it's, he's sitting in a chair and there are two levers. <laughs> and then he's also doing motion controls yeah. <laughs> and head gestures. So I don't think we're going to show the on foot stuff here. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> we can show. All, we can show the. We showed the best part of the game. This is the opening level. This part's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> oh, poor Oikany. <laughs> Gotta go. Laugh as he just smolders to death. Yep. It's hilarious. <laughs> Your yeah. Are fire. Oh, no. Yeah, so Moth this is like, like this is like the new enemy, or the new boss is like this, like, I guess they're like this big AI conglomerate. I think they're kind of like the Borg or something like Males that. Males on a chalkboard? Aperoid. Yeah, Ben Hansen right now is like jamming his thumbs <laughs> in his ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also want to point out that we have to collect memory cores from these bosses. Mm -hmm. And so they keep talking about memory cores, uh, which makes me think of Inside Out, or core memories is what they call them. Years before Inside Out, they referenced they have core memories in this game. Well, take our word for it, there is on foot stuff here. There is. It's and the next level. So just imagine super running. Super great. It's very shooter, as Kyle said, very run and gun shooter. -ish. Yeah, I thought just... we were going to jump ahead to that. I guess we could. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. So it's very Starship Troopers-esque, shooting bugs. Mm -hmm. He so, lost his fur. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he looks worse it than actually he did does earlier look worse game. Than He's He's moving way faster than he should. So I, I changed the controls, actually. The default controls have you, like, sort of all playing on the left control stick, but there is a secondary option where you can use the C stick, kind of like a standard shooter. Is this Earth Defense Force? It is very Earth Defense Yes, it's very Earth Defense force -y. But not, I don't know, it's just like... It's too loose, and he moves too quickly, and the, I don't know, nothing feels like it explodes. It just sort of, like, sh 
Yeah. I don't really get a sense apart. of blowing things up. Yeah, and, and you can see he has two targets to take down here, and he's heading toward one. Yeah, it's almost right there, over to your right. Kind of Dynasty Warriors esque, where it's like yeah, you just have go. a big field. You don't necessarily have to kill everything, you know. There we go. Destroy. That's it. Done. Well done. So let's. Uh, that's Star Fox Assault <laughs> on GameCube. Let's move on to the next game. All right, this is Star Fox Command on Nintendo DS now, and yeah. Kyle, you're a big fan of this one. I like this one. I never, I played it a little bit when it came out, and then I've revisited it for in preparation replay, and I've actually been enjoying it. Like of all the Star Fox games I went to play, this is the one I'm most interested in continuing huh. to play. Why? Uh, because it has, this is a weird thing to say, it has the most story, and it actually like, like right now, we're right, going, weirdo. We're, we're going <laughs> to save Slippy's fiance, Amanda, and oh, uh, is it it's just, Amanda hugging kiss? <laughs> It's a frog to hug and kiss, I okay. believe. Oh. Um, oh, sweet. And it's, Water level. It is all touch screen, <laughs> which is a little weird. We'll skip all this stuff. Well, no, no, no. We, we, we want to soak Ooh, in the lore well, you're it's, loving. It's too late. Here, I can like I can catch you up. So Star Please Fox do. and Crystal broke up, and Peppy is now... So it's like a romance novel. Peppy took over General Pepper's position as the general, mm -hmm. and Peppy's... Uh, Peppy's daughter Lucy is on my team. Oh, she's not in this level, but she is on my team, and she is yelling at Fox for breaking up with Crystal. Mm. He, she, they're buddies, Crystal and Lucy. She's a meddler. That's right. She's, she's nothing like, better to do. She's like, don't you? Aren't you guys still in love? And Fox is like, well, yeah, we are. And anyway, uh, I'll start playing. Did anybody else just hear white noise when that was happening? <laughs> I wish. Oh, I Falco's could have heard. here. I mean, it, it sounds like Twilight. It okay. The plot of Twilight is what what I'm hearing. I'm wondering here. why Falco and Fox were sure. All right. So this is it's like a strategy game. So we have some like fog of war stuff here. I can kind of clear out some of this and look for some bad hot guys. Hot strats. Hot strats. Let's see. Oh, there's some stuff over there. So I'm gonna send Slippy over that direction. We'll send Falco up this hallway. See, I saw this and I said, "This is the Star Fox sequel I want." <laughs> it's it's different. It's not what you expect, but it's pretty cool. All right, here we go. So you had fuel there, and that's all yep. the further you can go. Yep, only go so far. Oh, they're coming after me. Oh, right in the caboose. So what you're trying to do is like you use those mo the, the fuel, you know, to to encounter to mm -hmm. touch enemies and get into fights. I like that logo, by the way. It's Just really for good. The record. <laughs> yep. Yes. And I've I've actually I got stuck on this level, so if I die, I apologize in what advance. Is this? So now, there now you kind of get more. And Are it's you all, underwater? Yeah. It's, in the R wing? That's right. Yeah. The what lasers up? Lasers just work. Like they yeah. normally would. What happened to their cool. submarine? I I don't know. I, that is weird that they uh like they don't have. The Did they not like have the ability to model that in DS? I guess maybe. I mean, it is a spaceship. It should be able to go underwater, even if yeah, it, like airplanes. Yeah, that's right. So what are you looking at? You just swam through a dolphin ring. By the now. way, a spaceship is different from a uh, airplane. No, it's uh, not. Actually, I, I think you got to spin out. through those. I've been in space in an airplane. Oh uh, uh, no, you just pass through them. Right? Wow. Let's see. Which so else? I can double tap <laughs> the top of the screen to go fast. Uh, that's my Adam Pally impression. Um, Shoot the fish, man. Come on, you can't let those fish live. And then you can double tap on the bottom of the screen to go slow. So what did that... Then you can like, do this. Woo! Can you go through that ring? Yeah. He's done it a couple times. Yeah, you gotta spin, oh, you gotta spin through it. it, though, don't you? No. Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, gosh. I'm not doing well. This you crap, stuff. clam. Arg, I'm hit. Well, what are you supposed to do? You're just okay. flying around like a doofus. This is like Superman 64. All right, so that's there a, you go. I need that. That gives me more time to oh. play the level. So I have two targets. I got to take out this fish. What are you pointing at? The, the, the fish that looked like a whale, and then it's it turned into a fish. Yeah. Do I not have any bombs? I guess I don't have any bombs. You have zero out of two bombs. Oh, okay. Yeah, or starfish, or whatever objectives. those are. Turn around, it's fox. All right, so I'm, this I'm guy's kind of—he's like a kind of a boss. I guess wow, I have wow, to make wow. a bunch of passes at him. To try to take him out. He's one of the targets Presumably I have to take out. Presumably have to shoot at it too, right? Yeah, yeah that sounds like a good oh, there's plan. His health. Let's go slow here. Hey, Jeff, what would yes. your Star Fox voice be from Star Fox 1? From Star Fox 1? Yeah, where they had the weird voices. Oh, that's you perfect. You sound like me and Nub. Yeah. What about you, Shay? That's pretty good. Yeah. You know? Sounds very alien. What so, about you? So one thing about this game that's really cool <laughs> what, is what you can... No, this, you, this, all, this all comes in. You can actually record your own voice, and it'll what? make a Star Fox voice for you. What? Yeah. Why didn't it's we do that? Like Why I didn't you do that? Uh, we can do it. Maybe we, uh, if I, when I die, maybe that's what we can go do. <laughs> that's where I was going with this. Okay. Oh. oh. What about your you voice? You puppet master. <laughs> Star Fox puppets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> y'all. That's terrible. Y'all, 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 y'all. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm done for. I'm sorry. Wow, you're terrible at this yeah, game. That, that, was, really, that was really rough. I don't know why I'm... But, but, but the thing is, is like that was just one round. So I think now we go back to the field. 
And do I have any missiles? I think I can just, uh, let's see. I don't understand. Give your voice in there. Let's see. Oh, me? Anybody. Oh, oh. Any, <laughs> do that. Anybody. Yeah, okay, I, would, I would like to hear my you voice. You guys want to do that? Yeah. I'll All right. To... Let's do that. Oh, Amanda's here. Oh, what? A, what, do you just record oh. every single word? It actually, the in way, the well, dialogue? here, we'll look at it. Let's, Let's go look, look at, at it. it right now. So here we are in the options menu. Let's look at voice recording. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like the in-game characters to speak in voices of course. based on your own voice? Naturally. Okay. Please. An okay. This is weird. I gotta. I'm gonna get. Let me see. I need to do it. You oh, wanna God. do it? I okay. wanna do it. All right. Well, you gotta answer these questions. Okay. Where do I talk? Uh, the microphone is kind of at the bottom of the the 3DS. We got a lot of cables going here. Yeah, we do. Okay. We rolling here? Yeah, we're rolling. All right. So let's put it on high. I think I'll do medium. Are we in a noisy area? Okay, there you go. Boy. <laughs> Perfect. Pizza. Look at Dr. Claw. I'm curious. Uh, I don't know. Is that a secret that you can't share? Baseball. <laughs> oh, we've moved away from Shockmaster and now we're. Airplane. <laughs> this is gonna be so confusing. One question mark? This is like Mitomo. <laughs> it really is. Brian Shea. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All, All right, right see how this goes. So they're gonna say it's Brian Shea and Shh. Okay. Right. Okay, here's what I sound like as Rob. Okay. Cool. Noon. <laughs> Just saying noon. I think I sound best as Falco. I think gaming what the if, system didn't do us any favors. We'll see. Yeah, no, what if we just boy. sorry everyone. The way it works is now that, that one recording gave you you did voices for all five of them. What if we just Great. recorded like normal talking? Would it sound better? It sounds perfect. I don't know I what you're talking about. Great. All right. Yeah. It's flawless. <laughs> this is a, clearly a system that works perfectly. And now let's just see it in a cutscene. That is just that quality. Was, oh. I, I think we're being Star Fox assaulted in the ears. This is worth it. Oh, I wonder why that technology never <laughs> caught on. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's just look at one more level after yeah, that. Maybe uh, I won't die weird this test. Time. But that's kind of cool they tried that. I like that it's in there. It doesn't yeah. work super well, but, you know, whatevs, hey. whatevs. It works. Go over there, space. Slippy. Let's send Lucy. Lucy is Peppy's daughter. What happens if you go into red crap? Uh, you can't. It's just like, oh, you hmm. know, just creating artificial barriers. Oh, what is it? Oh, I got a missile. Nice. There you go. That's what you wanted to show. That's right. Here, I think... And then the fog comes back, which is kind of like... Oh, yeah. I think... Sir. I want to try something. Let me see. I have a missile. Can I shoot the... Uh, I can't shoot the base. That's I don't bad. think they really thought about what those paths end up looking like. <laughs> I'm not sure I, I follow. Oh, just like eyeball. Alien eyeballs. Oh, okay, it's oh, like, a, like yeah. a corner of a beholder. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, Lucy's going after the mothership. Fox is in trouble here. Slippy's doing whatever Slippy do. All right. Pachina. Snowfield. Let me see if I can actually kill some dudes this time. So you have like limited time in these areas, uh, which you can expand by, you know, performing well and stuff like that. Alright, so we're out of the water. That's good. Just spinning constantly. Yeah, you spin for a long time. Spinning actually, like, it, you can use it to collect items. Fox like, would be unbelievably sick right now. How does that work? Does his does his chair like stay stationary as nope. the ship spins? No, around? he's rolling with it. He's getting G's, man. He's getting That's why they're the G diffusers. Hey, yeah, you're oh, in gravity sorry. here. You're not in space. See, oh, where'd they go, man? Well, you thought his chair just stayed stationary? I, I thought the maybe. ship spun around him. <laughs> that would work really well. That's how he lost his legs. They just flew off. He was spinning too fast. It's like uh, you know the ship in that movie Contact. Like the chair would stay still while, or no, the chair didn't stay still. That was the problem. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh Kyle, see. your references are terrible. Pick up that star, <laughs> you. Context. All right, Little you got movie. this. One more. Don't Come lose on, the dude. flower. Oh, do I have any bombs? No. No. It's going to show. Bombs are interesting because you actually just drag them onto the touchscreen on the bottom. Boom. Get it? I got it. All right, we did it. Yay. Right. We did it. This is we Fox, did it as all of us together. Let's uh, take a look at one more game here. 
All right, so this is Star Fox 64 3D. Yep. On uh, nice. Nintendo 3DS. Not to be confused with 643D. Because 64 Ah, uh, right. It's good. It's, guys, it's good. funny. Good work. Can uh, you add some a laugh track in there for me? <laughs> <laughs> big, big silence. <laughs> crickets. <Some> crickets. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. We're skipping the first level. We've seen Corneria enough. We're going right to the asteroid field. Good deal. day, Corneria. Uh, looks Rick a little Fox. better. A little better lighting than yeah. the 64 oh, yeah, had. Definitely. Better resolution. It's not. I, it always bothers me if they let the asteroid hit the wing. But it's strong. It can handle it, man. It's the great fox. Yeah, I mean, it, if you knew you were impervious to that kind of stuff, you'd bash into it all the time, wouldn't mm -hmm. you? No. I mean, they got to design ships like that because there's so much debris that they just can't encounter. Well, it's you like know? when you guys go shopping at like grocery stores and stuff, you see carts, you ram them every time, right? Like that's horse. That's what every I do. Single time. Just send them flying. Usually try to aim them so they hit other cars. It's funny. Have you played this recently, Shay? Uh, like in the past year. Yeah, because I, I played it on a flight recently. I just played through the whole game. Playing it on the flight is actually a really good experience because like you're in the sky. You almost feel like. You're like in a every time there's like turbulence. Airplane. <laughs> like I'm not even joking. Like I, that was the, right. uh, Sorry, Peppy. Don't shoot, Peppy. What's your buddy? He's not my buddy. He's regressed in age. All right. So here's the big question. After we've taken a look at all these, mm. your favorite game in the series? Uh, mine is Star Fox 64. Still, 64 by far. Yeah, probably 64. I think that's the way to go. Adventure is super fun, but yeah, you can't just beat the uh, the flying. The the, the these what would feels you call so these good. rail shootery space sequences that's what this series is and uh i do like uh, i guess the the ds one i was actually pretty impressed with um i know i just died like right away so i didn't command yeah Come it's, on, it's interesting crazy. that's it's, crazy town it's cool this is way better uh, yeah i agree i like this more but command is worth taking a look at if you're itching for some uh you know for some star fox other than zero well and adventures if you want something yeah, that's, that's way different and cool talking and sick dinosaurs Oh, I break. Oh, there we oh. go. That was close. <laughs> Physics. Oh, this is really cool. Use the boost to get yeah, through. Looks great. Oh, I should have used the boost to get through. What am I doing? Oh, oh my gosh. Just, just, Somersaulted right I, through an asteroid. And I missed the bomb. Oh, man. I'm what so are good those? at this. Oh, these guys. Oh, yeah. What button is that? I don't know what button that right, is. Right on this thing. Ah, uh, oh, I got to touch the touch screen. Okay. Yep. That makes sense, I guess. Woo. -hoo. And we do have um, an episode of. Um, Star Fox 64, where we played a bunch of it. If you, if you yeah, the N64 the earlier levels. Yeah. yeah, you can see this level on 64. Played it, but yeah, almost through the entire game. Yeah, we got close I kind of want to play this again on 3DS. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's because it's also good because you can beat it in an hour. So you just get like a fun little like you know, and it looks good and plays the same and like it's a great one that I just keep on my 3DS hard drive because it's good to just kind of revisit every now and then. Because um, you can get through it quickly, make progress, see lots of cool stuff, and blow up some dudes. Watch Peppy get killed as you... by me. So Star Fox, six, uh, on, huh? Star Fox Zero is getting kind of bashed critically to a degree, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like sitting degree. at like seven on Metacritic, which yeah. is, is low for a Nintendo game, certainly. A uh, Miyamoto game, especially. Right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, do you think that's it for this series? Are we not going to see it for a long I, I time? I think they could just stay away from the gimmicks. The, I mean, that's why 64 is so great. Is it's the least gimmicky? Like the biggest gimmick they had on 64 was the Rumble Pack. Which was a cool thing that actually added to the game, yeah, as opposed yeah. to taking away from it. That is, I don't. Yeah, oh, I love good, those guys. It's a good question, though. Like, I don't know if Nintendo's super eager to like revisit it. If if, if like Star Fox Zero is kind of, I don't know. We'll have to see how player what players think of it. You know, like yeah, yeah. That's the big question. Are consumers going to latch like, onto it? Maybe, maybe it'll critics, be a success. Yeah. yeah, maybe critics are just will be totally separate from what players kind of take away from it, which is fine, and that happens sometimes. But but I was kind of getting the feeling of. This might be the last chance for this, this could series. Be, yeah. Like yeah. After some pretty rough rides here along the way. I mean, mm -hmm. ideally, because it is like a reboot zero, like, ideally, like, they could do, like, a sequel and kind of start over. You know, this would be the starting point for the series to kind of come back to life. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not super confident. Yeah, I, uh. I'm right there with Metroid as well. You get that kind of deep sinking feeling, like, okay, Team Ninja, don't screw this up because we really like get the series. Uh, but if you really uh, blow this, it might this be up. it. And. Yeah, now we, we have a completely different Metroid that isn't even anything like Metroid, that shooter that's coming to 3DS. Yeah, Eesh. part of you is like, I hope it sells well enough for him to pursue that, but I hope they don't think that this is why, what yeah, we want exactly. from it. Yep. Ah. Nintendo, another 2D Metroid, please. And a sequel, right. just Star yeah. Fox 64 2. 
It won't even make sense. <laughs> there you go. Just call it Star Fox 64. And release it only like on N64. <laughs> oh, man. Virtual console. <laughs> they probably have a canceled Star Fox 64 too. That's like 90% done, right? That's their thing with Star Fox. <laughs> they just make games they and never release They keep almost them. finishing Star Fox games. They're like, ah, okay, I guess we can release it. <laughs> make sure the A is as big as possible on your mm -hmm. helmet. Andros. So... This guy was, was this, am I just remembering 64? Was this a boss that was similar in the original Star Fox? I mean, we kind of fought one that was a little similar that would a like. A little similar. The SNES controller looking thing. Yeah. That thing slid back and forth. So kind of like similar. Yeah, they bounce back and forth between like six boss designs in the series. I just think if the enemies didn't make these exhaust ports that were exposed, <laughs> they, were really they could have conquered the galaxy. Subscure exhaust ports, man. Problem with every amazing. Oh crap! Oh, I love it. Uh... Oh, I gotta shoot that thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we'll gave you that idea? Oh, I don't know. It was the hazard lights glowing. <laughs> I wonder what the <laughs> first was, game with orange glowy lights. bits was. That's a good question. It had the to Lost have been. Planet went nuts with it, but these games did it. I mean, the original Star Fox that. certainly wasn't the first, right? No, you go back to, like, Gradius. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. go. This is the one where he fakes you out. He Empire goes, Strikes Back, Atari 2600. Little, yeah, the little, little glowing door. The little... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That might be the first one. It had to have been like, hey, nobody knows how to beat this guy. Let's make it super obvious where you're supposed to shoot him. Well, I mean, that that's that's exactly what it is. Ugh. <laughs> 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 uh. I mean, like, they had to have been, like, playtesting and been like, okay, nobody's getting past this boss. Let's yeah. just throw in these glowy bits. They could have done, like, super hard mode where, or just hard mode where they Get didn't out have here. that. You had to figure it out that way. That'd be kind of cool. I always love the, the, Get out of there. the voices. Sorry to Jet. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of bummed that I re-recorded the voices for this version. Like, they're different yeah. from the 64 version. Yeah, I think they're fine. I don't think any stood out to me as really being good or bad, necessarily. They needed better fidelity. But that is... Star Fox That's, 64 3D. Yeah, that is everything. the whole series. Yeah. Uh, except for the canceled two. I talked to Miyamoto at E3 last year mm -hmm. about if we'd ever see that game again. And he's like, it's better left buried. Yeah. So he was like very <laughs> down on the game. I would love to see that come to virtual console just as like a sort of time capsule of like, hey, just for like historical, like, yeah. you know, but I definitely understand that it probably doesn't. It, we would probably play it and be like, oh, God, this place like garbage. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to hear Jeff uh, talk more about Zero, the game that released yesterday, uh, you could read his review, and we also have a test chamber up on YouTube and GameInformer.com that kind of goes into all the mechanics of it and, and what to expect from that experience. And our Star Fox 64 replay. And there's a Star mm -hmm. Fox Guard, that little mini game that's mm -hmm. out there too, that uh, or downloadable game that uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we did a test, test chamber of that too. as well. And uh, Smash Brothers, watch all those replays. <laughs> yeah, watch watch those uh, the Smashed Marathon. Go ahead and watch our like Dark Souls hours. Chronicles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shadow like Chronicles. Seventeen hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, like subscribe, share. Yep. yep like all subscribe. those. Follow Share. Jeff Cork on Twitter. Just Jeff Cork, though, not the rest of us. Yeah, I, I tweet like once a year. So <laughs> wait, wait for it. It's going to be really good. Uh, but thanks again for all your support on Replay. We really appreciate you guys checking out the show. And uh, we'll be back again in seven days. See you then.